Hello and welcome to Complete Carnage. We're taking a look at G.I. Joe Classified number 138, Night Force, Quarrel, and Falcon. Another two-pack. We're going to jump right into it here. Uh, these are basically repaints and sort of kit bashes uh, when you get down to uh, some of the accessories. So I've got the originals back there, as you can see, with Falcon. He is basically, minus the head, of course, a repaint of the very popular Outback. Several characters now have used that buck, most notably, I guess, the Range Vipers. So this certainly gives Falcon a much beefier look than his previous buck, which was much thinner. I prefer this one. Obviously, the head sculpt was, well, there was a lot of complaining about that head sculpt. So, know that it was important for Hasbro to address that, and I think they really did. I'm guessing a lot of folks are probably going to buy this two-pack just to get that head to fix their original Falcon. Let's go ahead and jump into the accessories that they've got on him, those Pauldrons, I do believe, originally showed up with the Steel Corpse. Is that right? And I feel like these pauldrons are almost too small for Falcon's arms or Outback's arms. And there's a lot of adjusting. For those of us who use these for photography, you may just want to pull those things off. In some cases, we're probably going to want those on there, but sometimes we probably won't want them on there. And it's, again, these kind of things that, like this little neckerchief there, these are things that will come and bite you in the butt when you're going back to look at your photography. And you go, oh man, look at that. So just little details that you really do need to address and to be very mindful of. And same with that vest. It has a tendency to ride up a little bit, so you may have to push it down as you're fixing those shoulder pauldrons. And then we also have the night vision goggles. I'm trying to remember where these first showed up, maybe on Wolf Spider. And then speaking of lights, there are also two, two of these handheld lights and nowhere to port them, unfortunately. These are the ones that ported into Tunnel Rat's backpack. So they can be held in the hands, but there's really nowhere to port those. So... Falcon has the M16. Falcon has his original shotgun, which has been repainted with some cool red on it. Uh, he also has, is that a submachine gun? Machine gun, submachine gun from the Range Viper. Sorry about that. There we go. The submachine gun from the Range Viper, which uh, is a, has a very cool uh, ammo box on it there. Magazine. Some great paint apps on it, great details. That's a really welcome piece for uh, Falcon's armory. And uh, let's see, I think that's about it for him. He also has a pistol, and that pistol is uh, right here, and it's the same pistol that uh, you have with the Range Viper. So he does not have a knife, and it's the original Falcon backpack, so I guess you could say he does have the original Falcon loadout with the shotgun, the backpack, the knife, and the beret. And of course, we also have the Night Force options, the Night Force helmet, a cool, yet another cool repaint if you uh, are using those as a troop builder. Certainly you can do that and uh, really knock yourself out. I have decided I'm going to keep my steel corp small and I'm just going with one of each, which is kind of a departure from my troop building, but I just don't really see myself using those steel corps very much more than background. Moving on to Coral. She is a repaint of Retro Scarlet, who I have back there with a sword not her sword well it's her sword now but uh, as you can see she's a repaint of scarlet and she does have basically it looks like the same accessories on her thighs there with the dagger and i think some sort of uh ammo a little ammo storage or who knows what 
And then she also has the vest from Shooter and comes with that. another dagger. So she's actually got two daggers there. And then she has the scarlet crossbow and, of course, the pocket there for the quivers. And uh, I like to just to select to put this thing together and use one of the arrows to kind of help hold it all together. You got to be careful when it f falls apart that you don't lose that arrow. She's also got a pistol. It's the same pistol that we have with Scarlet. And she's got a pair of fists here. And I believe we've seen those fists before with Scarlet. And she also does have the Night Force helmet head sculpt, not a helmet, another head sculpt. So, and uh, I've got her with the grenade launcher here, which is probably actually belongs to Falcon, but who knows, you know, it's a, as far as I'm concerned, these loadouts are, are nice and generous so that we can sort of disperse those weapons to some other characters too. There's a lot there. Those people who want to port everything with these generous loadouts, it's just not possible. Don't complain about getting extra weapons, extra accessories. There are other things to complain about. So again, he has that Falcon backpack, and it was repainted here with the green on the rope and the canteens and, of course, the antenna that I think you could pull out of there if you wanted to. But that is a pretty cool backpack. I do like that backpack. I wasn't really one of those people that was going crazy crying about that falcon head sculpt. I thought potentially they might just repaint it and uh, give it to us that way and probably could make quite a lot of correcting on it. But I was really happy to see that they did give us a new head sculpt. And I really like Coral. She's very attractive. She uh, has a very smart look. Somebody said... Uh, that uh, she's reminiscent of the Robert Palmer models in his videos, and I think that's pretty accurate. So, uh, big thumbs up from me on Night Force, Quarrel, and Falcon. I'm very happy to add them to my collection. I'm also happy to see uh, Night Force expanding. Quite a few members now in Night Force, and it's really cool to, to see it continue to grow. I like these factions. I like them all. It's tough on the wallet, but I'm hanging in there and still a G.I. Joe classified completist. Well, I'm curious what you think. Please let me know. Thanks for watching. I hope you will subscribe. See you next time. And Destro fighting to save the day. He never gives up, he's always there, fighting for freedom over land and air. G.I. Joe is the G.I. Joe is there. G.I. Joe is the code name for America's daring, highly trained special mission force. Its purpose to defend human freedom against Cobra, a ruthless terrorist organization determined to rule the world. He never gives up, he'll stay till the fight's won. G.I. Joe will dare. G.I. Joe is the G.I. Joe.